Okay, continue. Alright, well we don't have to worry about its recovery. We need to get back to doing... Uh, Thorish things, basically. So, our contract is for an orbital rocket. Well, I mean, not a Thorish 1. We need a different Thorish. So, the only thing barring the Thorish 2 from doing this contract is that we're worried that this engine is not going to last long enough. It's only got a rate of burn time of 65 seconds. We've been pushing it for 2 minutes and 15. Now, how long until we've got orbital rocketry done? December. Um, I wonder how long it'd take to upgrade the engine after we start building it. Yeah, so I think we'll just build the rocket and then after we get the technology upgrade the engine. So we need to send our staff over. We'll still have it done before the research is complete, but only by five days. Okay, let us edit. Upgrade our engine. Though, 52,000 is a lot, but, you know, it'll be safer and somewhat more efficient. And more powerful. Okay. Oh, it's a totally different fuel mixture, isn't it? Oh, no. Not that. <laughs> Alright. Clenched teeth and everything. Okay. Well, we certainly have some benefit, about 200 meters per second. But we, uh, we have a problem. The GSE is not okay, and since I'm editing this rocket, we can't fix it! And so it won't let me save the edits. Right. So we have to do that to a saved version, uh, one that isn't constructed. Wait, we uh, we purchased that, right? Oh, did it undo the purchase? By the way, it says fifty-two thousand, but then the actual amount it takes from us is not fifty-two thousand. I'm sort of confused. The amount it takes from us is like 20 something thousand. So, thousand though. To just change the resources? I mean, I guess it's a totally different fuel. But yeah, if there's some synergy that means that it costs less, they should have the correct costs listed there, right? Otherwise, how can I make a decision? If I don't have the correct cost listed, then I can't make an informed decision about what I should do. Infinite time to recover. Okay, fine. We'll send one person to the hangar. We have one extra engineer. Okay, that was the plan. It's actually a little bit less than 2 minutes and 15 seconds here. There we go. Okay, still tooled. Oh wait, but this has changed. Um... Oh, it says tool tank. Oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. I misread that. Okay, there we go. Uh, there. Alright, so that's about as much as we can push it without tooling the tank again or causing a bigger problem. So, let me just save this as the Thorish 3. We are changing the type of engine at the bottom and the fuel and everything. Okay, and save edits. All right, let's try to launch this into a polar orbit. Remember, you must go to a polar orbit. <laughs> I have to keep myself with that in mind. And let's just review the terms. It doesn't actually give a height. So that's interesting. Polar orbit is fine out of Kuru. No problems with that. All right. Ignition. And launch. Okay, we should be past Max-Q now. 
So a little bit wiggly here with those bins. All right. Well, it got through its burn just fine. We're at 4,400 when it finished. And we've got 3,800 left. So we just need the little airbees to work. We can't even check our inclination. It's locked. <laughs> we, in theory, have no idea. I should probably shade a little bit to the west just to be safe. Uh, I don't like you saying negative. Okay, I think we will start now. Alright, we're spin stabilized in a slightly wobbly way because the little separatrons are never perfectly balanced. Okay. Uh, well. Alright. Final stage. Much thrust weight ratio. Ah! Oh! Not quite. We're not quite in orbit. No, too lopsided. Too much apoapsis. Oh well. Oh, well, and there's no new science. We'll just let it be. I don't think it's a particular problem with the rocket, though. So we'll just have another one of those. Let's see. Half must have electric charge for one day. No problem. Chief orbit around Earth. I mean, that's what we normally do anyway. One day's uh, worth of cosmic ray science requires all. We need satellite era electronics research. That's 10. And then there's 7. So we need more research. We don't have a whole lot of great ways of getting research. We already sent up the mass spectrometer. I guess we have to get... Space high is really high. It's 35,000 uh, kilometers, right? So that's going to be a little bit tough to do right now. We haven't totally plumbed the depths of the biological samples, I think. I sent a camera up before, but I guess we could do that. Okay. Um... But we'll try the polar orbit one first, and we'll send the camera on the next one if that is, becomes available. SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. And launch. Well, hopefully we won't be lopsided. Okay. Well, there we go. Alright, first polar orbit satellite confirmed. Well, I mean, I don't know, I don't think it, these are going to do anything, but I'll turn them on just in case. Alright. Let's reroute to this control core. Let's uh, put the film camera... Oh, right. Film camera is huge. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, that's that's not gonna work out for us. <laughs> Guess that's a diameter of one. It's that one on top. So, it shouldn't. 
too many. Uh, if I increase the top to one, it shouldn't re make me retool, right? Yeah. What we want is basically a retro burn stage so that we can help it survive, as we've also done before. So I'm trying to come up with a retro stage. Since we don't have heat shields, I don't think. Yeah, we don't. So we can slow it down at least. Technically for the retro burn stage, we don't want 52 seconds of burn time. Why couldn't this thing be the shape of nose cone? Let's just rework all this. We have a 1.1... Oh, uh, 1.25 one. 6,000 seems like a push. Well, I mean, it could if we... No, it seems like a... Well, it's got thrust weight ratio, though. Anyway, we don't have to complete the contract. We just need to get science. At least it still says the GSE is okay. The fairings... F for film. <laughs> Wondering if we have a. Uh... Oh, we got the early AJ10s now. But we I, we don't have any carryover reliability for them, and just the entry cost is thirty six thousand. So. Gamma. Well, that's sort of European. <laughs> that's that's the actual Thor engine. But yeah, sort of hunting for eventual replacement for our AJ-1027. Too bad this one's probably just ground lit, right? No, uh, these do too. No, this, these say ground ignition only. That one says one ignition. So that could ignite in the air? I, I, I don't know what that's based on compared to these being ground ignite only, but okay. Yeah, so that means that actually the Veronique can be lit mid-air. Gets 249. Our little Araby only gets 226. Well, just as a sort of theoretical thing, uh, we've saved this. Since we do have data on it. And how long can the Veronique last? 45 seconds. But there's a uh, Veronique, Veronique AGI. Seems dangerous. And uh, Veronique 61. But that's only 56. But it's got 261 seconds. Hmm. Still too tall. Um. We, we really need to, need to upgrade that thing so that we can do at least a 20 meter rocket. I mean, for the future, obviously, we'd want something much taller. I guess we might as well... It, it's really expensive to make it taller. Alright, um, let's just get the extra height like that for now. Actually, I want to see what effect it has on our orbital rocket. So uh, let me get the Veronique stage. Still got a thrust weight ratio of three. Now what? Uh, how far along till it gets a hundred percent failure? It's only one hundred thirteen seconds. Well, that's that one. One hundred forty seconds. But we could probably push it for a minute. The thrust weight ratio is really high. Well, let's see. Ah, uh, come on. Well, that's more Delta V. Seems like the kind of thing that I can carry a payload later on. And I didn't pick up the downrange contract, so maybe we need a contract that this can actually... do. How much tooling do we need? Oh, I guess it's not that bad. Hold on a sec. Let me, let me see. Okay, Thorish 4. We would need solar panels for that. We need the cosmic ray science for that. Um, 
It would be nice to have the ability to know our inclination for that one. There's an optional one. There are required ones and optional ones. There's only two more required ones here. Periapsis above the eccentricity, uh, we have to be between 0.02 and 0.04. I can't even see our eccentricity right now, so. But it'd probably say it in the contract thing. MechJab, uh, in theory, won't show the additional information. Right now, I, 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 I don't know if I can get a custom info window with that information. Let me see. I mean, but that's cheating, right? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's gonna show it though. Well, anyway, I picked up the contract. We'll we'll give it one go, and then I'll cancel it if necessary. Let's try it. Twelve units, and all the engineers have to disappear. Okay, now it's all happy. Let's try for the sun synchronous orbit, but I don't have too much hope. Periapsis three hundred kilometers. And then that eccentricity. Ignition. So, as far as the MechJeb window is concerned, uh, it does show stuff. Well. <laughs> Periapsis above 300. Okay. Oh, is all the helium up there? All the helium's up there. Whoops. I don't think we can do this. We can't control it. We don't have enough helium. Oh well. Attempt to cheat failed. All right. Anyway, that was too cheaty anyway. Anyway, this wasn't really getting us closer to our goal of having more science. It won't let me take the downrange milestone one. We can't accept another early satellite one at the same time. We, we can have this one at the same time. Uh, if I if I worked on it, I could do it, but uh, but yeah, we have to get rid of this contract to get the downrange milestone one. I mean, we don't have to do the contract though. Let's just throw a film camera up and see what happens. Uh, well, uh, we we're using water here, <laughs> out of all things. So yeah, the helium is probably not. The best choice. Okay, fine. Oh, look, we've got a little. See, it changes properly when sometimes, but other times it doesn't. Do we even need these to be high pressure? Probably. It needs helium anyway? <laughs> okay. Oh, we're supposed to put a parachute. What am I thinking? We don't want a nose gun, we want a parachute. Ah, silly, silly. We went north before, we're gonna go south this time. Even though that would not be allowed. Okay. And launch. One eighty is probably not exactly what I want. Pretty close though. There's a little station there. Well, we do have a retroburn stage. 
uh, maybe too big a one. Well, it says it's running now. You could try something fancy, though. What we could do is actually do a radial burn while we're going down to keep ourselves staying up. Instead of just a sort of retro burn, just have a burn that stops us from going down or tries to for a little bit. Well, let's try it. It might be a little bit too vigorous, though. Oh, well, let's just cut it. But we at least got some planetary photography here. It doesn't tell me what biome it is, so I don't know if it's... Oh, we don't have comms. I can't separate. We, uh... Brazil. Somewhere Brazil. <laughs> Overheating turpentine. Well, all the stuff I wanted to separate have separated. Shores... There's value, but we have to find shores. Well, at least, at least we'll get this 5, but it's not enough to unlock anything. I shouldn't have spent my science points on those aircraft technologies. Big mistake. <laughs> well, maybe we need to make the X1 and run the X1's experiment and get some science like that. So maybe... Once we unlock the aircraft technologies, we can use them for science. Okay, we are on the ground. That's one nice thing about not splashing down. It's easy to recover it. Alright, so we got six credits there. And that gives us 7.5. Don't know if we can start anything. The solar panels will take 10. This requires satellite era electronics research, which is the solar panels, so that's good. We need that anyway. So we need 2.5 more to start unlocking that. And I think we'll try to, because we've already finished the research on the planes. We'll go back to planes. We'll sort of alternate. Uh, so we did the polar satellite contract. I think we'll try for another plane contract and also do some science with the plane in order to unlock that technology. Crude jet aircraft. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. It's required as well. So, next time I am going to try to go supersonic for a sustained period of time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.